about that? Okay, here we go. The letter M. Uh, for comedies, here we go. It, it, this is a long freaking list. It's going to be really hard to pull from this list and draft the top five, but let's try anyway. Major League, Major Pain, Man with Two Brains, The Mask, Meatballs, Monty Python's Meaning of Life, Midnight Run, The Money Pit, Modern Times, uh, Monster Squad, Mr. Mom, Mrs. Doubtfire, uh, My Cousin Vinny, My Tutor. I love My Tutor. That movie's hilarious. Mo Money, Modern Problems, Mannequin. Mickey and Maud, underrated. Uh, Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers, uh, Midnight Madness, Mischief, and Moving Violations. I'm going to let that sink in a little bit. How are you going to pick a top five out of that? Like, that is, that's tough. That's a really good list. But I'm going to go anyway. Moving Violations, number five. That movie is so freaking hilarious. It is so damn funny. And it's a lot, like, you can take pieces of Police Academy and and put that in traffic school that, that, that it's just so hilarious throw in a little sprinkle in a little summer school in there and yeah that's that's moving violations john murray is actually in this this is bill murray's brother um with jennifer tilly and, and another great ensemble not well known but a lot of great uh, a lot of good uh chemistry between the the entire ensemble it's freaking funny as hell uh moving violations number five at number four Performance only, performance based, I mean, and that's mask. That's the mask. Not Rocky Dennis, the ma <laughs> mask, but the mask. Jim Carrey, funny, funny as hell. He's actually, you know, to, to play that, to play that uh, real timid type of shy character and then just go balls out crazy when he puts the mask on. It's just like two different performances. It's like, you know, Clark Kent and Superman. And that's how I see it. And it is, he just does it spot on. Like he's freaking hilarious in this movie. And then you top that, you, you, you actually add the fact that it is a tribute to the, the old Tex Avery cartoons. Uh, like shit, what's better than that? You don't know who Tex Avery is. Google it. Mask, number four. At number three, I gotta go Midnight Run. What I said before about Liar Liar and the, comp the companion that it could be to the Naughty Professor uh, based off the director, this kind of relates again, but this time the companion would be Beverly Hills Cop because they're both directed by Martin Bress and there's a lot of elements from Beverly Hills Cop, aside from John Ashton being in both movies, you know, Taggart, uh, but there's a lot of similarities in tone and approach to the comedy and the mix of action and comedy that Martin Bress goes uh, with in this movie that is a lot like Beverly Hills Cop. And for me personally, aside from Goodfellas and Godfather 2, this is probably, for me, one of my favorite and best uh, Robert De Niro films ever. His chemistry with, Car with Charles Grodin is freaking perfect. I, I absolutely love this movie. And, hey, man, Joey Pants. Shout out Joey Pants as, the, uh, as one of the, uh, the, the uh, bondsmen there. Uh, Midnight Run number three. At number two, I got to go Major League. I can see that movie every single freaking day. As a matter of fact, for a time, I was watching that movie every single freaking day because it was always out on HBO. Uh, but um, yeah, Tom Berenger, Corbin Burnson, Charlie Sheen, great ensemble. One of uh, early uh, Wesley Snipes films. Uh, yeah, that movie's so freaking funny to me. I, I just I love Major League in that uh, that yeah, cast in Major League. So funny. Uh, number two at number one. Okay, number one that was really hard, and I left a lot of good stuff out because I love Mannequin. I love Mischief. I love Meet the, meet the uh, not Meet the Parents, uh, Midnight Madness, Money Pit. Like these are all fantastic freaking movies. They're so fuck uh, funny. <laughs> Another bomb. Uh, but I'm gonna go with Doubtfire. I'm gonna go with Mrs. Doubtfire because of the wholesomeness of it and how how Robin Williams' talent can be. Let's just say substance fueled energy to really a mellow sweet kind and beautiful presence that he is and his ability to to show that kind of range in this to have so much energy and at the same time be just so wholesome because of the loss of his family and him trying to keep that connection going i just think it's so well done i think it is one of his best films you know he was nominated for uh, uh good morning vietnam he he won for uh goodwill hunting 
he should have won or been nominated for Mrs. Doubtfire because he was so good in this movie and it is so damn fun. It is so freaking hilarious what he does in this movie. Uh, it's just comedy gold. Mrs. Doubtfire, number one. You may or may not agree with me. It's okay. Leave it in the comment below. Let me know what your top five comedies are. Let's start with the letter M. Let's move on to the letter M.